Morning guys, and uh, haven't done something on Crypto Sniper for a while. Um, next major webinar, just before I get into uh, the Bitcoin uh, situation, is the 7th of December. 7th December, um, not only how to play defense in bear markets, how to make money on the short side on bear markets. Uh, we'll discuss when bear markets die and why this wasn't yet the death of the bear market and also more importantly the formula for success in your trading yes there is a mathematical formula you can apply um, that if you adhere to and implement will bring you success but it isn't easy okay you'll find out all about that and more uh, and i'll take on cryptos if you register on the market uh, for our webinar jam video on the 7th anyway let's get on to bitcoin this is um they're gonna put it on polar next I selected Binance. Let's do it again. Uh, Polynex, I find, is exceedingly small of volume nowadays. Let's try select that uh, Binance again and see what we get. There we go. Um, so Binance, Binance, what have we got? This is uh, the biggest exchange that's not derived, a la like BitMEX, which is essentially got a lot of... Uh, derived markets and contracts, which is not the same as trading with an actual exchange. Let's have a look at this. Um, you may recall that we have continued to say the bear ain't over um, at this initial event and that we did get a sell off on that. Um, and so the question is, where are we today? And this, we have a downside target, in fact. Uh, across most exchanges. I know it across many of the ones that I'm in, uh, engaged with. That means there's an opportunity and potential for this event to occur and it will be uh, down with a three. Yes, that's right. Our insiders know, um, but it would be a 3000 um, target. It'll be a number sub 4K. And many people find this tough to reconcile. Um, the minute we've now had a sell-off move, the inert emotional tendency is, okay, the bottom's in, I want to buy the low. And I'm afraid this is just not correct. And I'm seeing supposedly experienced technical analysts that have posted charts saying this descending triangle has now resolved itself and met its targets. They're all in a way finding a justification technically to justify a low being in and in our view uh, the low is not in and the chart should tell you when the low is in um, and that means we'll be late to the low um, and that's okay because buying the low is a false uh, ideological game it's going to hurt you in the end um, so we will be potentially late to the low although we sometimes get what we call first setups in a new trend and we can pick them quite close to the low but the point is those that bought the low here thought they were right for quite a long time they might have thought they were right there they might have thought they were right there they might have thought they were right there again and there and there then the bit for next everything that has occurred but the fact of the matter is we're currently making new lows not only did this entire pattern resolve to the downside as we spoke of um, uh, I'm just showing you what we call a grind line you can learn more about that on a program and in fact you don't even have to do a trading metamorphosis program we've got a lower entry point um, now that we will be making available as an offer for self-study um, but the point is this has not made a low it broke there and then the talks and the reoccurred saying now this is a low and unfortunately it wasn't low it wasn't price behavior for a low in fact when you have an absolute stake in the ground we were saying look you're getting slightly marginally lower lows you get this big stake in the ground you need some form of a v-shaped rally or to set up structure like get to there for a neckline uh, on an inverted head and shoulders you got here but you couldn't get back up there so that couldn't be a neckline because you just slumped and hung very heavy then we asked could this be an upsize squeeze and that's all you got this dribbling that's what I call an upward dribble and it was on a grind line as well and in fact I was looming to my premium guys as that spike occurred and was being rejected and I mentioned if it comes back to that grind line um, and it falls that could be the final pre-exhaustion before fall unfortunately I went to bed before all of that had happened but I did put a little bit of extra Bitcoin short on um, I had um, uh, also my EOS is open and this is what's happened so we've 
were short we've remained short throughout this period and we added a little bit i did trim the shorts when we were here until we saw exactly what was happening we could have had that inverted head and shoulder at that junction um, it didn't occur um, we could have had a little upside uh, symmetrical hvf it didn't occur um, it just dribbled out timed out stopped out and then there you get the sell off again Eventually, uh, though, I expect some form of a rally before we trade the 4K levels. In other words, the bulls will be given sucker again. Ah, oh, this time it's the bottom. Look at that. We're up. We're up. And they'll come stampeding out. Perma bear, perma bear, etc. Um, and it won't necessarily be the case. It won't necessarily be the case. In fact, we're appearing very, very soft here. I'm seeing on Binance, we're looking, we're threatening that low. Despite getting a hammer wick, Let's just have a closer look at this. Despite getting a bit of a wick buy up, you can see that um, that low test is coming in again. This ran that previous low. We're looking for that rounded bottom. We thought, okay, you could be getting a bit of a quarter pipe. No, as the grind line started, you're going to spill through that. It spoils any attempt at um, bottoms. So that was Binance. It's not that different on any of the others apart from the fact that Bitfinex is catching up with the premium it once had. There's 5283. What do we have on um, Binance? We're at 5279. Virtually closed. Virtually closed the premium between Bitfinex and Binance that at one point you could get on Bitfinex. So uh, Bitcoin was trading higher. It was way over $200 at one point. Um, what else have we got? Uh, let's have a look at it across all the, pl the platforms. You're at 5194 on Bitstamp. Interestingly, Bitstamp is the only one that's only just run the low, a small amount, but it's looking like it'll roll over a little further. Kraken, um, many of my US guys need to use um, the Kraken. Um, there again, the pattern remains the same on the big time frame. Less uh, peaky are the Bitfinex um, pump, but they've taken out that low on uh, Kraken. Let's take it down to the 30 minute and you will see it. There you go. Um, Kraken trading and that's also run the low and it doesn't look necessarily like it has to be over but at some point a rally will come remember we went sideways for a long period so it took a while before the next stage of selling so you start to get even though you are trading lower you get more pauses in between a little bit of rallies in between the one that actually was doing quite well and actually when we added to our um when we were in our shorts and we wanted a hedge we took a little bit of a a ripple uh, trade and ripple had actually done quite well it had shown relative strength let's just see if we can pull up a ripple chart for you um, while we're here we're on lovely EOS let's do EOS sorry I'll go back to ripple EOS is the one that's come up there's the grind line for EOS of course there was the bigger break um, and now we are trading in the low fours the low fours now my darling friends that love me so much for calling their coin short um, when it was at six are now finding that they're in the low fours we called it short when it was at uh, trading at the sixes and now it's at the low fours and they said you are a lunatic sir for thinking that it could ever trade in the twos well um as i've said uh you got to just wait for the market to tell you when it's bottomed and there will potentially be some rallies but that's okay our stop is miles away now our stop is miles away from this it would take a very big about turn on eos um for us to be stopped out which can happen like anything this is a probability game not a guarantee game but uh the eos uh is looking relatively weak especially when you when i show you the uh ripple which i'll get to i promise i'll get to why don't we just take a little look at a lumen chart as well though um there's the ripple never mind i'm getting them all wrong here today aren't i sorry folks calling uh, there's the lumen Lumen running that grind against the dollar, not healthy, not healthy at all. Um, as Bitcoin is probing new lows, that is not a healthy development. It has shown better hold up value than Bitcoin. It's not run a new low from the highs. If we put this on the daily chart, 
it's not at new lows since the highs its lows was the july lows um, but you can see that that's threatening um, it's held up better but not as well probably as ripple on the same time frame let's just show you that daily let it reframe you can see that the lows of ripple were also here august just after there and since then have actually held up rather well bankers coin imf future coin oh my god this is your control structure properly in crypto i remember doing a clip a long long time ago when everyone was love and light crypto's safe from all the banks it's our money it's not theirs i'm afraid not the trojan horse and their parasitic tendencies will embed themselves in all things if they were not the original creators in the first place go check out that 96 nsa document um, regarding uh, a model for a cryptocurrency so you know anyway so ripple shown uh, relative strength and what you get here is on the hourly we actually hedged our short slightly in case of a rally and we chose the strongest of the ripples and actually made money on the long side beautiful little three rising method in there by the way for those of you that are candlestick fundies that's a nice little test for the break three three classic textbook boom up you go to make first interim then you get a beautiful little pennant then you push 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 essentially you've made target bar the screaming and shouting and then we set up here and we thought are you going to go higher and when it failed sell all the ripple that's out there bounces off our target line rallies comes back down tries to rally back up to our target line and this big hammer through the funnel is slightly bearish an event it's invalidated that funnel um, for the downside which says time frame under review could be bearish however it's a strong hammer and it came violently back up both there there and there so we'll have to see what happens you could get a reasonably good rally if we get bitcoin just stopping going down Ripple could be the one that will bother, which will uh, fizzle a little bit back up towards the top. This said, guys, the overarching trend of the crypto is probably coin market cap time. What's happening on the coin market cap? Let's have a look at the alt market cap. Whoopsie, there's that grind line, mega smash down, small amount of little basing and rolling over and new lows. Now, what I want to show you here, this is not the drawing I most, most wanted um, because this, arg, let's put that stupid um, sign in there. I wanted to show you that we had an upside HVF roughly where Ethereum was. Let's get down there. There we go. This one might be better. This should, it's again the old coin. It doesn't want to let me have both the total and the old coin open at the same time. That was uh, we when we traded the big Ethereum upside HVF, by the way. And that funnel level is under threat now. So Ethereum has already broken that. Ethereum has already broken that. This is winding up to smash that funnel. And that is a bearish zone. It will probably support, support, support in it a bit. Um, you want to log scale that typically. Uh, and I've, I will be drawing this in further detail um, again for my premium guys. But that will be a key level where we might bounce. And you will have a first impulse, second impulse. And we may wind up again to smash that. The bear is not over the bear is not over in spite of future rallies to come it's most likelihoods on a probability based assessment that the bear is not over you will have been wrong 11 times to get it right once um, so don't do it don't do it let it play out miss the first one you need a series of higher highs and higher lows by dow theory before you can say bears over on a reasonable time frame like the daily four hourly charts the bear is not over okay so let's let's do total market cap as well this includes bitcoin which i actually think is relatively uh, weaker of late um to many of the better uh alts like the banker coins wow lumen and ripple who'd have thought it well i thought it because it's not your money they're never gonna let you have your own money how do you think they control you they will never ever let you they will jail you they will find a law that you are guilty of think of the guy who started e-gold and actually had real gold 
plenty of it stored for everyone um, and issued real coupons without hypothecation. How can they let honest money exist in their world of dishonest money? Of course it's going to kill them. Of course over time it's going to overtake them. They cannot let it happen. Your slavery is dependent on it. My God, people just don't get this. Anyway, so similar thing here. This is very, very low uh, and is probing on a very historical key wind up and I expect it to run. It can rally off it in support first. Not looking good. Let's log scale it because we did the same for the other one and that's what you should do. So here you go. That's it, fellas. A very big ascending upside HVF from some time ago there. Um, now uh, coming into focus again. That's why you we teach key levels of significance. That's why you keep your draws on the way up. You'll be saying hello to them again on the way back down. It's kind of like that business advice. Be nice to the people on the way up. You might just meet them on the way back down again. Um, it's very much like that in technical analysis. Um, and we're seeing a little bit of it right here. So that funnel level is coming into view. It's coming into view. You're right on it right now right on it right now and that's a critical uh, moment and run that and you have invalidated a period of ascending bullishness i wouldn't say it's a classic pattern but for cryptos we got a lot of ascending setups so you'll find out more about all these terminology and phraseology i'm using if you wish if it suits you it's not for everyone there's a lower price point entry on our self-study program um, which also actually includes non-farm days with me um, both crypto and fx two separate sessions on the first friday of the month and also includes amazing uh, newbie session for uh, on a sunday every week for three months with uh, brett a highly qualified hvf trader uh, who's doing amazingly well this year and uh, you will learn a great deal um, so you actually get a little bit of um live interactive stuff as well as your self-study program so that's it look forward to uh, he hearing from you if it's of interest but in the meantime guys bias bear bias bear look at your relative strengths but bias bear and if you want to hedge during a rally period a little bit of a complex thing not for the beginner buy the relative stronger coins and for me that currently would be the xrp yep love them or hate them the charts don't lie. They're getting a bid. If we go into resets, I wouldn't be surprised to see certain coins that are control structure orientated getting all the people into them because they have the power. At the end of the day, you owe it to yourself to make money first. Forget about the moralizing. Um, uh, the control structure is always going to control our money. And it's a sad, sad fact. On that cheery note, don't buy bottoms. See you later. All the best.